God bless you, dear heart dwellers. I have to say I'm really wrestling with that message from yesterday about China launching, and it's been hanging thick in the air here in the community as well. I don't know what to think, truly. Lord, I don't know what to do. Please pray for me. The Lord said, pray and prepare. That's all you can do. What is coming is so outside the scope of your reality that my reality is the only way you will survive and function. Nothing has ever happened like this in the world before. Yes, there was the flood, but this is different in that the population and investment of humanity is far more developed. Oh Lord, please keep me on track with what you need for me to do. Please help me to hear from you and do what must be done. Because I don't trust myself, guys, when I get like this. I don't trust myself when there's pressure. But I do trust the Lord, and I trust His ability to protect me from a lying spirit. Oh, Jesus continued, I'm here with you, beloved, holding your hand and steadying your heart. It is not easy to be in your position, to hear and see the things that are about to happen. Every one of my prophets had this very same issue. You know what must happen. It is yet incomprehensible, but also looming. It is not easy for anyone in your position and those around you that believe and are touched in the very same painful way. No good person wants to see suffering. It pushes so many painful buttons, and in a different way with every soul who has their own track record of suffering. This has been a very, very, very long time in coming. It is like a release valve for the earth, which has suffered in profound ways man is not able to comprehend. The earth and all the animals suffered terribly from the sins of man. Everything I have created has its own form of consciousness according to its makeup. You will find this substantiated in the scriptures. All the trees of the field will clap their hands. The rocks cry out. Creation groans. It is everywhere in scripture, but most of mankind has a pinched in and narrow viewpoint on life. They are not aware. The things of the present moment are so pressing to the flesh that these other dimensions are outside of their sphere of consciousness. Not so in heaven. There you will experience the rocks crying out and the stones singing. While you are here on the earth, you are very limited in your perceptions. And I'm taking a quote from Romans 8.22. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to this present time. The Lord continued, Do not be surprised at this. Just bend your mind to receive the yoke of faith. There are so many things man is yet unaware of, but that is about to change. All you can do now, beloved, is keep vigil and pray for mercy. Your prayers will be heard, and many will be spared because of them. Do you believe me? Lord, I always believe when I know it's you. Have I ever given you a snake in the place of a fish? Well, actually, yes, when I was ignorant, judgmental, and had some sinful perceptions and thoughts. He continued, In that condition, what else could you expect? True. Are you there now? I hope not, Lord. Let me reassure you, you are not in that state now. So you are prepared to believe that it is me? Lord, I have no reason to doubt that it is you. Very well then, receive what I have given you. Apply yourself as best you can to praying a vigil for those who will perish and the community members that are in agony right now. And this will be pleasing to me. 
And that was the end of his message. And so whatever is going to happen, whether it happens tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, our prayers will not be wasted if we keep a prayer vigil. It's first Friday, and there are promises that come with the Sacred Heart, too, for first Friday. The Sacred Heart devotion, and tomorrow is the Immaculate Heart, the first Saturday of September. So there are many graces flowing at this time. So let's make the best of them, dear heart dwellers, and really devote ourselves to prayer for mercy, and the Lord will do the rest. I am confident that He is going to do some amazing things over our little prayers, our puny little prayers. God bless you, and keep the faith.